Okay, good afternoon student. Today I will continue our lesson. There's a SPM module question. So today I will discuss about the form 5 question. There's a wave. So hope student you take out the uh, question paper. After that we check the answer. Okay, let's see the first one. First one is a diagram that show about the oscillation for pendulum. So the diagram 1.1 that show about the correct path, one complete oscillation. So you need to take the cross. Okay, correct answer in the box provided. So the question they say cross, so better you put the cross lah. Because when I do the PowerPoint, I forget to see there's a cross, so I put the tick. So I remind you, remember when the question say cross, then you need to put the cross. Okay, so the answer should be the last one, P to Q. Then after that go to R. They want just half only. Then you need to come back to the original position. Then we count that one is uh, one complete oscillation. Okay, let's see the B, the stopwatch they show about the um, the taken for pendulum for 20 complete oscillation. So from here, we're going to see the smallest division of the stopwatch. So you need to find it. The smallest, this one is a 10, is it? Then this one's a 15. So this one should be 11, 12, 13, and 14. So we go to find the last one, the smallest one. So this one is 11. So the inside, we got five division. So that means... The smallest one should be 0 0.2. So this one is 10.2, 10.4, 10.6, 10.8. After that become 11. So from here, the smallest division should be 0 0.2 second. Okay, time taken for 20 complete oscillation. So we will see the whole stopwatch. So they until 45, they stop already. So this one should be 45.0. Because this one can read until one decimal point. So we just put... 45.0 Okay, then we're going to see the question C. You need to tick uh, which one correct answer in the box provided. Okay, what is the type of physical quantity for the time? So, physical quantity for the time should be the scalar quantity because they don't have any direction. Okay, then we go to the question number 2. Okay, they show about the loaded spring okay, oscillating vertical in the water. Then the oscillating system that experiences damping. So, uh, remind back what's a damping. Damping is a situation that will be affected by the air resistance. Then finally, the object vibration, they will stop. Okay, they will slowly, slowly reduce amplitude. Finally, they will stop. Okay, so from here, 2.2, they show about the displacement time graph. Okay, let's see the graph. This one is a damping graph. So, you find it, the amplitude become drop and drop. Okay, you need to underline the correct answer in the bracket. To complete the sentence below okay damping is a situation when the of the oscillation decreases so you see the wavelength wavelength still the same so when starting 0 0.4 one complete oscillation then the second also 0 0.8 so that means the wavelength still the constant but changes should be the amplitude okay this one's the answer okay now we're going to see the b Okay, state one reason why damping will occur. So we must talking about the air resistance surrounded, or you say the intermolecule vibration that will affected the uh, affected the oscillation. So you see one mark, water resistance. Okay, because this one is uh, inside the water, so you must see the diagram carefully. If you say air resistance, that means maybe not accurate because the object already put inside the water. So we say water resistant. Okay, number two, they say energy loss. Okay, energy loss. Or you say about the friction. This one is a one of the reasons why the damping will be occur. Okay, C1, they state the period of oscillation. So we check the period. So this one is uh, 0 0.2 until 0 0.4. Okay, sorry, this one is a time, not the displacement. So if displacement, there's a wavelength. But this one is a time taken. The time taken should be the same. So the period is uh, 0 0.4 second. Okay, what is the frequency? So frequency, we know the formula. There's a 1 over t. Okay, you want to find the frequency, you take 1 over period. So we get it 2.5 hertz. So what will happen to the period of the oscillation system when the heavier load is used? If I'm using the heavier load, what do you think about the oscillation? Okay, the faster to stop or slowly to stop. Okay, we check the answer. They find it they will increasing. Okay. The mass increase, they find it the oscillation they will increase. Reason because of inertia. 
They cannot stop immediately. So you find it the period of oscillation that will increase. Okay, now we go to question number three. They show about a cross section of the water wave in the river tank. Okay, normally the light when it just go to the crest, they will find it become bright. Okay, when they go to the truth, they find it become dark. Okay, now they show about what type of the wave in the water wave. So water wave should be the transverse wave. Okay, B. Okay, you need to complete the light ray that pass through one of the crests to show how the bright region is produced on the screen. So you need to show the bright region. So bright region is normally produced from the crest. But you need to show the light ray how they pass through the crest. So normally the crest you want to produce a bright, the light must be focused. If the focus means the light, they will concentrate to one point. So that point become bright. Okay, how about the dark? Dark means the light they will diffracted. Okay, they mean, I didn't say diffracted, like maybe there's uh, uh, not converging, they were diverging to far area. That means they spread out. When it just spread out means the, the brightness already spread out, spread to wider area, so that part becomes dark region. So now we're going to see the light ray, how to draw at the bright fringes. Okay. This all, we call it the light ray, they will focus to the point after pass through the crest. Okay, then the second one, they want you to mark the distance to equal to the wavelength. So wavelength, the lambda here, you just mark uh, the distance between the crest to the consecutive another crest. So this one is a lambda. So we show the answer. Okay, either one. Okay, they just call you to mark one distance. So you mark at the this crest to another crest, then you label that as a lambda. If you do one crest, you want to do truth, also can. From the truth, go to consecutive truth. Then you label that one is a lambda. Okay, see when the frequency of the water wave is increased. That means frequency increase, what happened to the wavelength? So we know the formula V equal F lambda. F and lambda should be inversely proportional. F increase, wavelength must be decreases. Okay, how about the speed of the water wave? Speed, normally we're talking about the constant. Okay, that's unchanged. Okay, then we go to question 4. That's a tuning fork. Okay, produce a sound wave. So you need to underline the correct answer in the bracket. Okay, sound wave is a longitudinal wave. Okay, based on the diagram 1, you need to name the region X. Okay, this one's a region X. Region X is uh, close together. So this one we call it as a compression. Okay. Then we go to mark the distance which is equal to the wavelength. Lambda again. So if you want to mark about the lambda, if you start from the rare fraction, you must go to the consecutive rare fraction. If you start from compression, you must go to nearest another one compression. So you label okay example if i label this part then this one will be n so i just label this one is a lambda so you want to label another part also can important you got draw the arrow and show the symbol okay now we go to c the tuning fork is diagram one they will vibrate in water okay what will happen to the speed of the sound okay remember the sound travel is faster in the solid compared to the gas Okay, because of the arrangement of molecule. So this one is happened in the A. Now I put inside the water. Should be better, is it? So they fight it. Okay, they will increasing. Okay, they will transfer uh, the speed faster. Okay, then number five should be the resonant. Okay, we got six pendulum. They are different length. After that, they tied to the track. Okay, this one is a X pendulum. Okay, I will start to vibrate this one first. So this one we call false frequency. Okay, so from here X, they will oscillate at the frequency 2 Hz. Okay, you drop down the info first, there's a 2 Hz. Then the other pendulum, they are start to oscillate due to the oscillation of the pendulum, X. So that means when I just oscillate the X, the others, they will continue to oscillate because they're together in the same strength. Okay, now we're going to see the B. Which one pendulum will oscillate with the maximum amplitude? So normally we find the length should be the same. Lah. 
that should be the pendulum M. Okay, you need to give the reason of maybe you say the length should be the same or you say the frequency is the same. Okay, next, there's a phenomena. So this one phenomena they oscillate together because of same length, we call it as a ray zone. Okay, now we're going to see the pendulum X that will stop oscillate after a few minutes. So because of that being. So you need to draw. Okay, draw the displacement time graph to show the damping. Okay, remember the time should be the same. Okay, period oscillation should be the same. Then you just control your amplitude. Okay, let's show the result. Okay, this one is a result. The amplitude will drop. So better you draw the side curve first. Okay, up and down because side curve. So you draw the curve line first. After that, you draw your uh, wave pattern. Okay, now we go to question 6. 6, they show about a jigsaw blade, oscillation horizontal. Okay, using the 50 gram of the load, they fit to it. Now, the 6.1b, they show about the TT graph, okay, for the oscillation of the jigsaw. Okay, now we got two diagram. 6.2, also the same thing, identical jigsaw, oscillate horizontal, but the mass of the load is a 200 gram. Okay, they also show about a graph. Okay, before we start the question, we do some comparison first. Okay, first one we know difference should be the mass. Okay, the mass one is a 50 gram. Another one is 200 gram. Okay, then we go to observe the graph. Okay, graph first one, we're going to see one complete oscillation. That's a one second. Okay, but this one, one complete oscillation is a two second. So that means the period of oscillation for second diagram should be longer. Okay, now we check about frequency in 3 seconds. Both diagram also in 3 seconds. But this one frequency, we go how many times? 1, 2, 3. In 3 seconds, they got 3 hertz. But this one, in 3 seconds, they got 1.5 only. Okay, they can make 1.5 complete oscillation. So this one is uh, really, uh, the comparison between the two diagrams. So that means before you start the comparison, we must ask yourself what should be different for two diagram. Then we easy to answer the question. Okay, first one they ask what meaning for displacement. So displacement the meaning is shortest distance, the between the final position and its initial position in a specific direction. So this one we call displacement. Okay, then we continue to comparison. Compare the mass of the load. So we know the 6.2, the mass is higher. Lah. Okay, so I remind you again, don't write the symbol like this. Okay, I want to write because I was faster. Okay, I want to create the, uh, the PowerPoint. Then I need to write the answer. Then I need to write more. So I just put the symbol. So you make sure you understand. During the exam, don't put the symbol. You must write 6.1 more than 6.2. Okay, number two, compare the period of oscillation. So the period of oscillation 6.2 also is longer. So we just answer 6.2 is longer than 6.1. Okay, compare the number of oscillation in three seconds. Number of oscillation sure is a 6.1 become more because there are three frequencies, is it? So the answer is 6.1 is more than 6.2. Okay, now relationship. Relate the mass and also period. So when the mass increasing, the period becomes longer. So the answer should be directly proportional. So remind you again, don't write directly proportional only. You need to write the variable. Okay, for example here, mass of the load is directly proportional to the period of oscillation. Okay, remind again. Uh, so make sure you don't uh, lose your marks because of this kind of the careless mistake. Okay, if you don't want to write directly proportional, you just can write. When the mass of the load increase, then the period of oscillation also increase. Both also correct. Okay, then we continue to con uh, relationship period of oscillation to the number of oscillation in three seconds. Okay, period longer, number of oscillation should be less. So this one should be inversely proportional. So also same, give full sentence. Okay, what happened to the amplitude of the oscillation jigsaw blade after it oscillate for some time? So your answer should be decreasing because of the uh, damping. 
okay, decreases. So give one reason why it decreases. So you give the answer is damping, or you say energy loss, or you say A, friction. Okay, now we go to question 7. Okay, they show about the two diagram or so. Okay, A and B, they show the water, the droplets drop onto the water surface in the basin. Okay, the static image of the water, the drops from the both taps, they were taken at the same time. 6.1, 6.2, B, they show about a circular wave. Okay, they produce when the water just drop heat to the surface of the water. So we do the comparison again. Because this one comparison for SPM question, they about got two questions. Okay, for the section A, they ask about two diagram comparison. Suppose this question, they're easy to get the marks. Because you just refer diagram, then you do the compare. Okay, now we're going to see the compare, the first one, A, and also the 6.2A. Okay, we find it, both basins should be the same size. The water volume also is the same. Then the droplets should be the different. Okay, the frequency of the droplet 6.2a more than 6.2 uh, 6.1a. Okay, you see the droplet they are closer. This one is further. Okay, we compare about the circular. Okay, 6.2b the circular is closer. Circular closer means the wavelength becomes shorter. This one wavelength is a further. So from here we can conclude when the frequency increase, the wavelength decreases. Okay, this one also same. When the frequency uh, decreases, the lambda become higher. Okay, suppose it's inversely proportional. So we go to answer A. Okay, underline the correct answer in the bracket to complete the sentence below. Okay, a wave front in line joining all the points, which have the same, okay, wave front, remember the same like the wave length, then should be the same phrase. Okay, now we compare the depth. Of the water in the basin should be both equal so the answer is the same okay compare the number of water droplets okay 6.1 is a less okay 6.1 a is a less okay 6.2 is more than 6.1 okay now we compare the frequency of the dripple water from the taps okay frequency must be 6.2 is more than 6.1 okay then we compare about the wavelength of the circular Okay, this one wavelength less. This one wavelength should be higher. So 6.1 more than 6.2. Okay, relate. Relate the frequency of the water and also the wavelength. So frequency increasing. This one frequency increase. Wavelength decreases. Should be inversely proportional. Okay, for the next one, we continue with the C. The depth of the water in the basin diagram 6.1a. This one decreases can reduce the depth of the water what happened to the wavelength of the circular wave okay the depth decreases then you find it the velocity also become drop okay so you find it the wavelength will become shorter okay you see the answer decreases the wavelength become decreases okay when remember when you go to the uh, the sea and also the near the seashore they want the citation talking about this one. So that means when the speed of the wave will go to the center of the sea, it's okay, there's a uniform. When it's just closer to the beach, you find it, the velocity drop. Velocity drop, then you find the wavelength become closer. Okay, give the reason. So when you're talking, speed of the water wave decreases as the depth decreases. So you must talking about the speed because the speed is affected the wavelength. Okay, now we go to number 8. They show about the plain water wave that propagate from the deep to the shallow part. So this one should be deep. Lah. You see the wavelength become bigger. The wavelength becomes smaller. So name the wave phenomena. This one should be refraction. So when you write refraction, okay, some will ask, I can write refraction only or I need to write the full sentence. Refraction of the water wave. Suppose both answer also correct. Okay, we both also uh, accepted if you just write refraction or you write refraction of the sound or of the water wave also correct. Okay, you see this one is a refraction of the wave. Okay, what happened to the
Okay, what happened to the speed of the wave in a shallow water region? Okay, shallow water region means this part. The speed should be decreases. Okay, then we draw the line to show the normal at the P. So you need to draw the normal line here. Number two, you need to draw the line to show the direction of the propagation of the wave. Okay, in the deep water to the shallow region. So after you draw the normal line, when the light just pass through the deep, go to shallow, they must bend away, uh, sorry, they will bend towards to the normal. So from here, I show how to draw. Okay, after draw the normal, this one is a ray, go straight until touch the P. Okay, now two different of the region, that one is a deep and also shallow. So you find it, they will bend towards normal. So this one is two marks. Okay, now we go to question 9. They show about the side view of the two ripple tank. Okay, when the motor are switched on, the water wave and the same frequency are produced. So from here, you see this one is a region X. Okay, this one is a region Y because region Y, they put one of the block. Okay, you find it, this part becomes cell over. Okay, so this one is a screen from the ripple tank. So you find the X, they are further a little bit. Okay, because they still got the block but this part they are closer because the block is more thicker so we go to answer what means of the frequency frequency means number of oscillation complete okay uh, uh sorry Okay, we see what means of the frequency. Frequency means number of complete oscillation in one second. So this one is the meaning of frequency. Okay, now we need to compare again. You see this one question. Two diagram show is a comparison. Okay, now we compare the depth of the water X and also Y. The X uh, is less, is it? Y is deeper. Uh, y is a shallower. Then the X is less shallower. So we just answer the depth, okay? X is more than the Y. This one is deeper, this one is shallow. Okay, compare the wavelength, okay? In the X and also the Y. Okay, the X must more than the Y, okay? For the wavelength. Okay, now we need to relate the depth of the water uh, and also the wavelength of the wave. Okay, relationship. Depth increase, wavelength also increase. That's a directly proportional. Name the phenomena. This one phenomena should be the refraction. Also same. You want to mention about water, wave also can. Dune one also can. So there's a refraction of wave. Okay, need to explain why the wave front in the sea water will follow the shape of the saw. Okay, this one you normally are talking about the depth. Different depth. Okay. When at the center and go to seashore, the depth should be different. Number two, you're talking about the speed. Okay, number three, you're talking about that we refracted towards the normal, then the wavelength become closer somewhere. Okay, let's see the first one. Okay, the depth of the water decreasing. Okay, we're talking about that. Okay, number two, velocity decreasing. The wavelength decreasing. Okay, number three, refracted. So the refraction will be occur. Maybe you explain more like they refracted to the normal line. So this one is a three marks why they follow the shape of the salt. Okay, number 10 about the wave pattern again from the shallow, uh, sorry, from the deep to the shallow part. Okay, now we got region A and region B. Okay, this one is a result. Okay, region A, you find the wavelength become further. Then the region B become closer. Okay, the, what, the wavelength of the water changes and they move region A to region B. Okay, what's the meaning for the wavelength? So the wavelength is? Distance between two, okay, this one is a keyword, consecutive or you say successive. That means per to root, to root, the next one. So from here, either trough, either crest also can. Now we need to compare again. Okay, wavelength region between A and also B. So should be the A, wavelength should be longer. Lah. So A more than B. 
Compare the incident angle and refracted angle. So we refer this diagram. Incident angle more than refracted angle. Okay, next. Okay, again, compare the depth of the water between region A and also B. Okay, A, the depth should be higher than the B. Okay, based on that, you need to put the relationship between the depth and also the wavelength. Depth increase, wavelength increase, directly proportional. Complete the sentence. When the water wave travel from to what region? The direction of the propagation refracted. Okay, so normally refer here. We're talking about the from the deep to shallow. So they're from the deep to the shallow region. Direction of the propagation will be refracted towards the normal. Explain why the most beach. You see, again, uh, resort are built at the bay area compared to the headland. So bear you know when the light uh when the the water wave will near to the bay, they will spread because they're refracted. They will spread to the wider area. When they spread to wider area, that means they will reduce the uh, wave pressure acting to the bear situation. So we just answer the energy of the wave will spread at the bay. So that means the amplitude that decreases. Or you say the wave refracted towards the normal. Okay, 11. Again, there's a sound wave. Loudspeaker 0 0.8. So 0 0.8 should be A. Emitted coherent so, uh, the sound wave. A girl that walks slowly parallel to the two loudspeaker at the distance 3.2. So 3.2 should be the D. Okay, now you hear the louder sound and also weak sound alternately. Okay, diagram show 4.5. 4.5 here, suppose we got two wave flag. Okay, because louder to the next louder. Okay, now we go to answer what means a coherent wave. Coherent wave means they just have the one, or you say same phrase. Okay, they produce the frequency should be the same and also the phrase must be the same. Okay, two wave saw which have the same frequency or you say same lambda also can but the phrase same phrase different okay the phrase must be amplitude is the same but different you maybe can crash maybe can be truth that one we call same phrase different okay distance between position for the loud sound that's a 4.5 so you need to calculate the wavelength remember this one the uh, formula should be lambda equal ax over d so we just apply all the things, then we find the answer. Okay, you must take the 4.5 divided by 2 first. Then lambda A X over D. So 0 0.56 meter. Okay, the loud sound is heard due to consecutive interference of the sound wave. State how come the constructive interference occur. So you must say constructive interference occur when the uh, louder sound, they meet the louder sound. Okay, then the constructive interference can be occur. So we're going to see here, crest meet crest. Okay, then truth means the truth. Then constructive interference that will occur. Okay, twelve again. You see this question. They keep to come. Uh, keep to set this question for the SPM. So that means you need to prepare about this kind of the question. Uh, the sound wave interference. So also same comparison. Okay, you can find it. What's the different? A different. For the 6.2, A is longer. Okay, then we compare the louder sound. Louder sound is a dot. Okay, the dot and the dot. This one is an X. This one, X becomes smaller. Okay, so this one's a compare. Okay, first one, distance X between the two consecutive louder sound in these two situations. Okay, I know there's a 6.1 is greater. Okay, 6.1 more than 6.2. Compare the distance between the two loudspeaker. 6.2 is further. So 6.2 is more than 6.1. Relationship A and X inversely proportional. Okay, state one other physical quantity that need to be fixed to make sure the relationship in the A3 is correct. Okay, A3 is a inversely proportional. What should be the fix? So you refer the formula. Lambda equal AX over D. 
So that means the A, we do the relationship, X also. So the lambda and D must be become constant variable. Okay, D or lambda. Okay, normally we don't write the D. Eh? You need to write the full sentence. Okay, if the question called introduce the D, then you can write. If the question never introduce what's a lambda, you need to write with flat. Name the physics phenomena. So this one phenomena should be interference. Also same, you want to write full name also can, or you just write interference also can. So there's an interference of the sound wave. Okay, the frequency of the audio signal generator is increased. So you increase the frequency. So what's the meaning frequency? So again, uh, number of complete oscillation per second. What happened to the distance between two consecutive loud sound? Okay, so from here we need to talk about... Uh, Okay, the frequency of the audio signal generator increase. So from here, what happens to the distance between the consecutive louder sound, that means the X. So frequency high, the lambda should be dropped. Lambda drop, then the X also will be dropped. So the answer is decreases. Give the reason, then we're talking about the lambda and also frequency was a relationship. So that means lambda decrease as the F increase. Okay, question 13, there's about the arrangement for the practice for the young double sleep. Okay, now the light, they are source, pass through the color filter. Okay, remember this word, monochromatic. Monochromatic means just got one color. Okay, when starting, they're using red, then repeated using blue. Cool. So this one's a result from the red, this one's a result from the blue. So we find it, the red one fringes for the bright is more than the blue. Then the fringes is further. Then the blue one, the fringes is closer. Okay, first one, what means by monochromatic light? Monochromatic light means the color of the light just got one only. Okay, and also the frequency must be the same and the lambda must be the same. Okay, let's see the answer. Light that has one frequency and one color. Okay, then we go to the B. Okay, using the pattern of the fringes in the figure above, state the two observations about the distance between consecutive fringes for the red and also blue light. So two observations. First one, we find it, the fringe for the red is more than the blue. The second one is the distance. Distance for the fringes, red is further. Then the blue is closer. Okay, you also can say for the same fringes for the red color, every distance should be constant. So this one is a what we can observe. Okay, let's see the answer. Distance between two consecutive fringes for the red is more than the blue. Okay, this one is what they can see about the distance. Okay, number two, they're talking about distance between two consecutive fringes for the same light. That means they never compare the blue and red. They just compare blue only. Okay, blue and blue, you got to compare. The distance should be constant. So this one is observation. Now we compare the wavelength, red and blue. The wavelength for the red must be longer than the blue. Okay, relate the wavelength of the red to the blue with the distance between consecutive. Okay, we ask the wavelength longer, distance between the consecutive red fringes, that means they're talking about the X, directly proportional. Okay, name the wave phenomena, they form the pattern like this, also interference. Okay, question 14. Okay, question 14 about the light also. That one, still the same. There's a sound wave. <clears throat> you can see the sound wave. What type of the sound wave? Again, there's a longitudinal. Why are the sound, louder sound, that can be heard by the student, the arrangement that this one position? Because this one position all is a consecutive interference. Okay. Now we do the calculation. Distance between two last speakers, there's an A. At 10, at 10 meters from the last speaker, the distance between adjacent row. So this one is a 10 meter should be the D. This one is a X. You need to calculate the lambda. Lambda equal AX over D. 
Okay, then we get the answer 0 0.6 meter. Okay, D, the frequency of the sound wave is increased. Okay, what will happen to the distance between the adjacent row? That's an X. So again, frequency high, lambda low, then the X also decreases. Okay, they ask about distance between adjacent row so decreases. Uh, the X become decreases or you say they become closer. Give the reason again, frequency increase, lambda decreases. Okay, or you just write lambda and also the X is so directly proportional. Okay, then we go to the 15. Okay, 15 is again, there's a sound wave. So that means every year also got like this question. The frequency generator produces the sound. After that, two loudspeaker coherent source. The boy just walk, then listen to sound louder and also soft. Okay, what meaning for two coherent source? Coherent source will be same frequency and also phrase. Okay, same phrase different. Okay, again, two wave, the source will have same frequency lambda or same phrase different. Okay, diagram 6.2, they show 3 and 2, they show about the pattern. Let's see the pattern. Okay, this one is a two diagram. Okay, we see the comparison first. Huh? The A bow should be the... This one closer, is it? This one's further. Okay, the X. X, this one's smaller. This one is uh, uh, further. So the D be constant. So we compare the distance between two loudspeaker A. 6.3 more than 6.2. Okay, compare the distance. There's an X. X is a 6.2 more than 6.3. Compare the distance PQ uh, and the two last speaker D, both equal. Okay, now we need to relate two last speaker. There's a A and X. A and X should be inversely proportional. This phenomena should be interference. Give the reason. Why the louder sound and the soft sound are formed by the two loudspeaker. So louder sound support is a constructive. The another one's a soft one should be destructive. So we just explain by using constructive and destructive. Okay, loud sound due to constructive interference, soft one is due to the destructive interference. Okay, 16. Again for the sound. But this one is related by the microwave. Okay, the microwave. Uh, sorry, not sound. This one is an EM. EM wave. So this one is a microwave that transmitted to de determine the position of the aeroplane. So microwave is a what wave? Microwave actually is a, you can say transverse. You can say transverse, you can say there's an electromagnetic wave. Okay, now we're going to see the rudder transmitter. Velocity is a 3 times 10 power of 8. Towards the aeroplane P and also detect refracted the signal 4 times 10 power negative 4 second later. So this one citation means two way. Because you send the signal okay, by using two way velocity, then the time taken you take it is a two way time taken because they send and come back. So the distance also should be two way. But the question now they want to calculate the distance of the P from the rudder. They just want to count one way distance. So that means later your answer must be divided by 2. Okay, let's see the calculation. Okay, the formula distance should be Vt over 2. So they take over 2. So we do the calculation. After that, we find it the 60,000 meter from P to the satellite. Okay, now we're going to see the EM, the spectrum. Okay, this one spectrum arrangement. Now remember, I call you to memorize. Okay, the R is the highest frequency. The R should be gamma ray. Okay, then they give the reason why the microwave due for the satellite communication. Microwave is better than radio. Reason is high frequency. Okay, a radio station, they emit the radio wave at a frequency 100 megahertz. So, convert become hertz. Mega is a power of 6. So, plus this to 0. 6, 7, 8. So, 1 times 10 power of 8 hertz. Okay, you need to calculate the wavelength of the radio wave. The speed is 3 times 10 power of 8. So, the radio wave. Okay, wavelength. So, we're using the formula again. Okay, V equal F lambda. So, after that, the lambda, we don't know how many. 
So 3 times 10 power 8 is the speed of the light. Okay, same like the radio wave. Then over the lambda, uh, sorry, over the frequency. So after that, we get it. There's a 3 meter. Okay, D, you need to they show about the UV light. This one's a UV ultraviolet. Okay, after that, this one, box X, there's a visible light. Okay, which one first? Must be visible first. After that, it's a UV. So visible, I, the wavelength should be smaller. Uh, sorry, should be longer. Frequency becomes smaller. Okay, because we arrange by the radio. Then micro, radio should be the highest wavelength. The radio will be smaller until gamma. The wavelength is very, very short. Okay, but the frequency is very high. So now we need to draw. Okay, draw the wave pattern with bigger lambda. Okay, so this is the answer. You continue to draw. After that, you make the lambda become wider. Okay, question 18. Okay, question 18 should be the last one. Then check 6.1, they show about the pulses. It's displayed by the cathode ray oscilloscope when the boy that clapped his hand. Okay, in front of the concrete wall, act as a refractor. 6.2 also same. They got CRO. When the same boy also clapped the hand, but this one is in front of the thick curtain. So what's the difference? What's the concrete wall? One is a curtain. So concrete wall should be hard surface. Hard surface, they will easy to refract it, come back. For the thick curtain, curtain is a soft one. Then maybe they will uh, absorb absorb some of the sound. So when you just refract it, it will decrease amplitude. Okay, so this one's a comparison. So we check. This one is a wall. This one is a curtain. Okay, we do check the amplitude. So I like to zoom, let you to see clear. Okay, this one is a pulses refracted from the surface of the concrete wall. So you see the amplitude like this. Okay, high is it? Okay, now we're going to check about the curtain. So can you see the drop already? Okay, after crap, the refractor becomes drop. So this one is starting, then it should be refracted. Okay, so from here you can do the comparison. Okay, sound wave is sound wave is a longitudinal. Okay, the characteristic of the surface of the refractor. Okay, characteristic, this one concrete must be the hard surface. Then this one should be the soft surface. Okay, concrete wall is a hard, thick curtain should be the soft. Amplitude refracted sound wave. So the amplitude must be the 6.1 more than 6.2. Okay, now we do the relationship. Surface of the refractor and amplitude. When the surface hard, amplitude must be higher. Okay, harder surface. So larger amplitude of refracted sound wave. Okay, number two, amplitude refracted wave and the energy. Amplitude refracted high means the energy also high. That's a directly proportional. Okay, number three. The characteristic of the surface of a refractor and the energy of the refracted sound wave. So the surface, the harder refracted surface, the larger the energy of the refracted sound wave. Okay, this is a characteristic. Eh? Then we go to the D. Okay, this one is a dolphin. They're sending out the ultrasonic sound in search of the food. So what's the characteristic for the ultrasonic? So why are we never using the normal sound? We're using the ultrasonic. So the reason is there's a higher frequency. They mean over 20 kilohertz. So give the reason why we're using the higher frequency. This one is a better for the refracted. So they're easy to refract it so the dolphin can be detected faster. Okay, around the surrounding or any small fish or not. So this one is the all the discussion about the wave question from the module question. So hopefully you understand what is that. So the next one should be the electricity. So student, you please prepare the second answer for the uh, second topic. The one is uh, electricity for your module Temelang. Okay, so this one is uh, I want to present today. Thank you for your watching.